So if you want to manage your workspace even more, then you can go around into your profile right here. And then from settings and administrations, you can go on to workspace settings. So once you go to workspace settings, a new tab will open up in your browser and then you can access settings, permissions, authentications, and attachments right here. So there are various options right here, like joining the workspace is one of them. So you can expand and let's say you just want to allow certain email addresses like from, let's say, for example, uh, like tutorial.com or something like that, then you can set it out right here. You can allow invitation for any one of those email address. So let's say, for example, you just want to accept out something like gamingchannel.com or something like that, then you can just type this in and only uh, emails from that particular workspace will be accept accepted right here. So that's something you can do here. You can change the language. Like right now it's set to English. So if you want to change the language, then you can go around here. There's default channels that people are added onto so once they uh, are added in the workspace. So random and video tutorials are something that is accessed uh, to them besides public, as you can see right here. You can also go around to display naming guidelines right here. So this is something and name displays are an option. So full names instead of display names, maybe. So if you want to enable this, you can do that as well. Also, you can display the emails right here. So note that it, it says test token and apps installed in Slack may still access or display email addresses, uh, even if this is unchecked. You can uh, work around with the do, do not disturb settings from right over here and join and leave message section. So show a message when people join or leave channels. So this is handy to have. So you want to add that, then you just save this up. Over here, it says hide your workspace URL from external sites and logs. You can hide this out to keep your workspace private. And you can go over here on to call options. So allow video calls on Slack. So you can turn this on or off. You can also go to message and reaction deletion. So these are only available for the paid plan. And you can set the workspace icon from right over here and upload uh, your default icon as well. So let me just go back over here uh, to the settings. So you, uh, you don't want to use this icon. You can change that out as well. You can also change the workspace and the URL right over here. So right now it's Tutu workspace. So if you want to rename that out, you can do that from right over here as well. Besides that, you got the permission for messaging, like see who can use these uh, at everyone and at channel. So you can change this out to only workspace owners or everyone or except, except uh, excluding the guests and so forth. That's like invitation. So by default, any member can invite new member. So if you uh, want to verify, then you can turn this on call uh, require admin approval. So no one can invite others without the admin's approval. So all admins are only this channel. So you can go around into certain channels or all the admins, that is all the uh, channels right there. So you can do that as well. There's channel uh, management, like who can create, archive and remove members. So you can choose around. So right now it's everyone that if you just want to set your permission to yourself or uh, other admins, then you can do that right over there as well. And over here, there's me message editing and deletion. So you can allow them to edit or not allow them to edit at all. So this is something uh, that's handy as well. There's workspace analytics, like who can view the analytics and custom emojis, like who can add that in a uh, Slack bot responses and even public file sharing. So all of these settings are here. So if you don't want them to share public files, then you can just disable it and they won't be able to share the files. Similarly, there's authentication section right here, like work, work wide, you can enable two factor at, uh, authentication, you can force the password reset in all members for this workspace as well, if you want them to and automatically open the workspace for members right here. And you can they can download this out as well. There's also attachment sections right here. So right now it says uh, Slack will automatically display previews for links when possible. Uh, and um, anytime else it's like uh, you can just set the permission over there yourself. And this, uh, these are how you can uh, set the workspace settings and permissions right over here. So that's how you can configure out the workspace settings from inside of Slack. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.